Welcome back everyone, Scott here, and as you can see, the polleting is upon us. This is our four month update of our eight way graphene products longevity test. We'll most likely keep this one going for a little longer and I'll explain why later. Leave the last 30 days weather and the lifetime weather up on your screen. Foam it down, let it dwell, rinse it off. Foam it again, wash it before rinsing things off. We'll inspect the hydrophobic properties and then we'll dry it. If you're new to the channel, I've been doing tests like this for about six years. This hood sits outside 24 hours a day, seven days a week here in the East Texas elements. And I do have other tests similar to this going on right now as well. Again, I am unsponsored, unbiased, and 100% of these products are purchased out of my own pocket unless otherwise stated. I don't do paid reviews for companies, and believe me, they've tried, because I want to know the real truth of what's the best detailing products out there for you, for me, and for our clients. So without further ado, let's do further and get on with the inspection. Getting into it now, Adam's Graphene Ceramic Coating still doing just fine. Adam's Graphene Spray Coating, we have had that marked week since the 60 day mark and it really hasn't changed. You can see how it does eventually sheet the water off in a fairly timely manner, but it's not very hydrophobic. Dry Victory Nano Graphene, we're gonna call that failed this month. You can see how the water's sticking for the most part. Very one, one little corner there, it's coming off, but we're gonna call it failed. Adam's Graphene Detail Spray, same deal failed 120 day mark so four months is what you expect to get out of that sitting outside 24 hours a day seven days a week 303 graphene we had that marked failed at the two week mark and if you know the story behind that it's it appears that i had been sent a bad batch 303 reached out to me offered to replace it so they did give me a new batch i am testing both of those in my current 38 way test if you want to go check that out i will leave a link to that video in the comments sps graphene doing great igl kenzo also doing great igl ez originally a spray that's their pr this is their pre-production product but the final version has not changed it's just because of epa requirements and things like that it's no longer a spray it's now a one year one coat coating it went on sale, available March the 17th, 2021. You can go to their website to buy it right now. It's not available on Amazon just yet. IGL Coatings USA or IGLCoatings.com. Again, there's the Adams Graphene Spray Coating and Detail Spray. Again, 120 days for a detail spray. That's pretty impressive. Usually, you expect to get 30 to 60 days out of that. That's not bad. You heard me talk about last month possibly redoing this particular hood just because of the issues with the some of the batches the 303 the drive victory drive victory has reached out and said he wanted to send another batch as well for the next test i may do that but in the meantime i may just keep this hood going so we have some good reference points but if it ends up just like igl kenzo sps graphene and adams graphene ceramic coating if that's the only three that are left, I'm going to stop the test because those three are in other tests. I have several other updates coming. I also have two new hood tests that I'll be starting the 1st of May. One is a graphene only products test that has at least 24 or 25 different products. All your favorites are in there, I guarantee it. And another test is a lot of new products that have come out on the market like New Finish Ceramic Coating Spray, The Underdog. There's several other new companies and new products that have come up very recently. So we'll make sure we put those to the test right in time for summer to start here in Texas. So it'll be Definitely a good test. The summers here are brutal on these products. Thank you again, guys. We'll see you soon.